everybody! Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel step by step. So, here are the materials you will need. So, you will need a 6H, the light, a very, very light pencil, a 2H, which is not as light as the 6H, but it's still a very light. An H, an F, and a B, which are all very close together, and they are like middle uh, middle shadings therefore shading light um therefore shading light drawings and a 2b which is for shading darker stuff and then i'll need a very small blender a me um a slightly larger blender a medium sized blender a big blender and a really big blender and then an eraser so now I will start with the basic shapes to begin with this cavalier. I'm going to take my 6H and start by drawing a circle in for the head. So one thing I have to I uh, have to tell you about this picture is that the cavalier's head is going to be tilted upwards. So to draw the eyes, you will need to use a cross line, a curved cross line, so then you can get the eyes in the right position. And once I finish drawing the head of the cavalier, of the cavalier, I can start by drawing the neck which is going to be two lines one that starts from the edge of the head and uh, another one that starts at the other edge of the head that now another thing I can do is I can take a line kind of cut the top off for an example Then I can draw a cross line. And then another line about here. Um. So I'm going to have to make sure that this line is tilted. So now I can I can erase that basic line I drew up at the top. That was only for an example. Now I can draw another line once again, a bit higher. And then next I can draw the ear starting at that line that I drew which is going to be just an oval <laughs> it's going to be small oval like a small long oval and it ends right at the head and for the other one I can start from I can overlap with the head and go down past the line for the neck Now, if you want, you can curve this like a circle because we're gonna. F I'm gonna fix it later, so I can just fix. So I can just make it more realistic. So then these basic lines can help me more, so that I won't have to spend more most time fixing. So now from here, I can draw a curved line, and then before I continue, I can draw. An Another line that's not so far from the um, first line. And then I cur take that line and curve it back into that line. And then from there, I can draw the snout, which is going to be. 
starting from the top line, but we're going to fix it. It's going to be starting from the top line, which is where the ear, the eyes going to, are going to be. And I go down to the bottom. Yeah, I can add the nose. So the middle of the eye is going to start here. So I can draw the nose. And then I can draw just a small U. Then small U. This is gonna connect. Might look strange right now, but it will look much better once um, this dog is done. So I can add two curved lines. Then I can make this go straight. Make this kind of go straight as well. And then you raise these. Next, I can add the eye. It's going to be a circle. And then the other eye is going to be a bit farther from the, from the snout, but not very far. So then, it can look like that. And now we can add, we can, well first I want to take away these guidelines. And then I can add a small triangle attached to this one right here. This circle, small triangle, and another triangle at the front. And then on here, I can add another small triangle, but just one. And then I can make the nose smaller. So I can make the nose smaller, and then, so it should look like that. And then I can make this lower. So I can erase this and make it about this low. And then I can add the bottom lip. So it should look like that. Then here I can add the ear. You can do one curve out, one curve in. And then I send it right here. And the other one is going to be almost the same, except that it stays like a curve out and it's going to be a big, bushy ear. It's a very big bushy ear. So then I'm going to add two things on, two curves on each side. And then I'm going to move that neck curve and I can add the neck. So now I, c I can add a few more small things before. I move on to the bigger details. So now I can add much many more details. So I can take my 2H and I can start working on the eyes. So first I can trace out the eye. Twist out a bit.
So I trace that out. And then add the small curve. That in very lightly. Like that. Then I can add the highlights. Just like this. And then I can add the bottom part and shade that in. Just like this. And I can continue shading all around the eye and add a few small details so it looks like that and then I can shade inside so I can take my B shade inside I'm not going to go close to the highlights because I do not want to make it look like the eye, the highlights are too dark. So I'm not even going to like get, I'm not going to shade around the highlights yet. Okay, so it should look like that. And then I'm going to take my sla my small blender and I'm going to blend all this. I'm going to blend uh, the eye around and I can blend it around these highlights. That. And then to make it look much nicer, I can Erase small, small little thing right on the other side of the eye, right on the underside of the eye, so then it looks um, more realistic. Then I'm going to switch back to my 2H. And then. I'm going to erase, keep erasing that small part and then go over this on the um, eye one more time adding smaller details and then can I can take my H and I can go around the outside. Kind of like this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around the head. So instead of using that line that I drew right here, because that was just a baseline, we can go right next to that line, and curve in. And then, I can, um, I can curve it in and go over it one more time, add a few small hair attached to it and then I can continue tracing the snout so I can come up from the head 
right here and then make my way down to the bottom and to the start of the snout and I can do that on the other side just like this then I can draw the nose so the nose is going to the nose is going to be like have a curve almost like a heart I'm going to curve back in and curve that part as well and then I'm going to flatten these parts out kind of um, kind of looks like a Lego heart and then next I can make these lines smoother and I can make these lines so oh, this is gonna be kind of like a smooth line like this and then Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to curve. I'm going to curve this in. And curl it in. And then curl it back out. Like that. So curl it in. Curl it back out. Can erase that and add some kind of like curve, mm, just like this. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just like that, and then going take a line straight down from the nose down to here and then I'm going to curve so I should add a few hairs to this and then I get a little bit I'm I add a few more hairs back to the back to the hand side, so it looks like that. But I'm making sure it's really light. Just then, I can go back down again. Just like that. So, drawing this um, cavalier is very tricky. And so, baselines help you draw it, but the baselines have to be right in order to get a nice drawing. So I'm just going around raising all the unlevel um, parts. So to help with that, I can just draw um, like a U, just like that, and then I can take this one, curve it in like that. And then I can add the on the bottom side with a line curving in 
just like that. And then, before continuing on to the next eye, I wanted to start adding the hairs on the on the ear. So first, he's going to have like few tall hairs. Before it goes down to this very small hairs. Just like that. Then goes back down to his small hairs. Curves down. Curves in. And it curves out. And out here I can add a few curls. that and right here I should have a few other curls like that should have and right here I also want to add a few of those curls and like right here to make it and to make it look nice so I can make these like this and if you want to throw to it like that and take off these things off and then next thing I can do is well first I wanted to make this a bit lower let's see can do is I can start with the eye so I can take my B so I can take my B I can trace it over kind of like what I did on the other one just like that and I want it to just curve it in a bit. So now it should look like that. And then I'm going to add my highlights again. I'm going to add a highlight like right here. And then another highlight here. And one at the bottom. Like that. So now I can it in this. I can see the other side as well. And then I can start my shading in here. Make it look like that. Shade around the inside as well. So I shade around here. Shade around here. Shade around here. I just like that. And then I can take my blender and once again I can blend it all. And then And then I can, can I can take a very small blender to blend into these small gaps. And 
Then I'm gonna make straight over that, blend over that. So it looks like that. So now it should look like this. I'm just blending over again. Then I'm gonna take my B. I'm gonna go over this. this then I'm going to take my razor raise a few small things this and then I'm going to take my B and I'm going to work on the nose so I can start on shading the nose. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Then I'm going to take some blender. And I'm going to blend that. I'm going to blend that as well. I'm going to blend this whole entire nose. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my eraser. And I'm going to erase a small part to make it look like a highlight. I'm going to take my tiny blender and blend around that highlight. Making sure the highlight blends in with the nose. I'm going to take a, my 6H and I'm going to trace around the nose. Then I'm going to take my 2B. And then the shading inside the nose, blend it out. And do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to take my blender, just blend it out. Then I'm going to use my 2B again. I'm going to trace around the whole entire nose. So the border gets very light. And then I can do this. I can start shading the nose from that, from that line. And then I can blend that. And I'm going to use, I'm going to do very small details. Use very small details on the nose. And then right here. So now it should look like that. So that's how my nose is going to look for now. I will change it later. So now I'm going to take my F. I'm going to take and these little strokes this one to make it small with small pencil strokes I'm going to make it the uh, have hair by its snout so it's like that right now and then I'm going to add a little bit more hair make sure all the textures blend so it should look like that. And then I'm gonna take a tiny blender and I'm gonna blend that. Then I'm gonna take my 2H and add very dark hairs around the nose. Then around this line. And here. And then we can blend that out. And then I can use the to be and keep on building up with the hairs. Just like that. To make it look very realistic. Now one thing you can do but wouldn't look good is that you could just draw you could just start shading it 
like that. Like you could do this. Like that. But that wouldn't look good. If you want a very nice paint or a drawing, you can't you sh have to put you have to put a lot of effort into it. So and one more thing I wanted to mention is the reason I'm drawing a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is because of the uh, family pet which is a cavalier called Shamako and um, Shamako is a really funny and really cute dog and my uh, my my grandpa really loves him and that's why I wanted to draw this cavalier so now I can add the hairs on the top of my 2B just like this then I can blend it next to the take my tiny blender and blend it right next to right next to the nose and then I'm going to make sure the hair down here don't stick out too much so it looks like that so now one more thing I can do is I can add a few small hairs right here and there let me shade it out a bit a few small hairs like this like that, that's the same thing on the other side. Then blend out. Like that. And then, can add small hairs on the bottom of his um, lip. Like this. And then you can blend it. And then I'm actually going to erase it so it doesn't look too noticeable. So like it's barely even seen from this perspective. So I'm going to draw out the hairs first with my F. And one more thing I can do is I can erase this part and kind of redraw it, but instead make the part more straight. Then I can add small little hairs. Besides, like that. And then I'm going to lower this now that I move that. So a lot of changes are going to be made. Look at that. It's going to be changed. And this is going to be made shorter. And I'm going to add the fur. And then I'm going to make it have more details. So I'm going to take my I'm going to take my 2B. I'm going to start by shading. And so I'm going to start by making sure this aligns nicely lines up. Let's see yeah, so that should be right there. 
and then I can use my kind of thick almost the biggest blender and then I can shake that and then I can erase that again so that was just a baseline I can take my each here like this and then I can take my small blender do the same thing then instead of erasing it I can just add some touch ups take my very small blender and blend around here and then kind of erase and make it light so it looks like that and then right here so right here I can erase this and don't add, don't add too much fur it should look like that same thing on the other side don't add a lot of fur then it looks like that then we can shade right here around here like that then I can take this blender and I can blend around places I shaded like that now the next thing I can do is I can take a line from here so I'm going to stretch this out so it looks like that so now it's beginning to look very nice it should look like that and right here I can add it and then right here I can add small hairs that. and then I can take my razor kind of make it almost square so I am this side because from a perspective these are actually the same length from but it doesn't look like the same length right now because it's in a different perspective and there are many things to learn about perspectives like like if it depends like there are many perspectives so you could draw a line from for the different perspectives. But I won't do that because I've already drawn this. But on other things you can draw like a cone. This shows you different perspectives like this. And then I can take that line right under here. And then I can curve it in here. So now I can take my small blender and blend this off one more time and then I can take my 2H and do the same thing I did on this ear and then I can add the cover rules and this one's just waving down and the fur comes the hair comes waves down 
my ways back in my bag. Can add a few more wavy hairs. That. Now, one thing I would do, I would do is I would take a giant blender and start blending. So I'm adding color. So what I can do here, I can lightly shade. It's very light here. And then I can blend that. So I can blend all this. Can blend this. And if you want, you can add hair textures, which I might do. Add hair textures. Yeah, so I should be adding hair textures in a second. again Can add hair textures. So this very nice slowly. I can some hair textures. Add the edges. Then a few hair textures up here. And then I can shade from here. Like I can. So the ear should look like that. So now I can blend it with. Smaller blender. Blend that. I can shade in here. Shade one more time. Blend, and then I can blend that. So now this has color. Or what I'd say is that at least it's shaded. It has some tones. Then I can shade this around. And then smaller details. This. Then I can do the same thing on the other side. So I can shade, which this one should be easy because it's a smaller space. So I need it means I need a smaller blender as well. Then I can take my big blender. So now it's shaded. I'm just gonna add the same small details on both of these sides. Just like this. Just like that. And then I can take this blender and shape this right here, and, that, and I can add a few small hair textures right here. Shape this 
see that one again. Then right here. Okay. Cave it in. And then what I can do is I can start by shading the ears. So I'm going to speed this up and you can pause the video after I shade the ears and shade the ears on your drawing as well. So all I need to do is I'm going to use two layers and I'm going to shade it once and blend it, shade it another time and blend it and both ears and try to get oh so I'm going to begin and then I can speed it up so I can start by doing this and then shading that and then I can sh and then I can go over it again and then shade Then if I want, I can go over it a third time. And then, that's how I get this nicely shaded ear. So now I will continue these same steps throughout the whole, uh, throughout both of the ears. And then once I'm done, I will show you the rest of the steps. Okay, now I have finished. And also, you may have noticed me making some changes because I realized that I had made the dog too scruffy. So if you find your dog too scruffy, you can change it and, uh, to make it less scruffy. So now, um, I have finished this Cavalier Spaniel. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!